<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Wednesday the 22nd of February. It's my third year wedding anniversary and I'm off on a girls trip without Lewis. So we're heading to Dublin to meet Laura. We're just enjoying a coffee. Look at that coffee. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Iced vanilla latte. And we are yeah, heading to Dublin for two days, two nights. <laughs> Very brief. It does contain a boat and safety, uh, safety information on this particular aircraft type. Once we set sail, flight time in the region of Guys, we've arrived in Ireland. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, we have this, but how are you doing? <laughs> we are just check. well, we are just dropping our bags off at what? Temple Bar Hotel. And then we're gonna go out and find a drink and some food. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll see what happens today. <laughs> right, so we're just heading into the Dubliner now <laughs> for some drinks and um, maybe food if they do. But this is the street our hotel is on. How stunning. We're in the yeah, old mill and we're just getting some lunch. It's really cute in here. Just a little Irish pub bar, which is nice. We're just gonna we're just gonna grab some lunch here. So we have got a Cajun chicken salad and some chips. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. And a Cajun chicken sandwich. It looks like a burger though. It does look like a burger. I do. Right guys, that lunch was so good, wasn't it Emma? Yeah. And we are just heading to the Temple Bar pub now for a drink before a little Viking boat bus tour. It's like a bus that goes in the water, apparently. So, let's see how that goes. Right, here we are. <laughs> just got my other walking aid. Right, we're outside the Temple Bar. This is what it looks like. I if you can see that. Oh, it looks cool. We'll show you inside and we're just opposite Clyde 9 which is a cookie and crepes place. Such a stunning street, I love it here. Right, we're in Temple Bar and it's only quarter to three and it's such a vibe, like it's so um, busy. Viking hats for and then it turns into a boat. Look at it! Look at everyone with their Viking hats! <laughs> That's gonna be us! Right guys, we're on the bus tour and we've got our Viking hats. <laughs> we were 33 euros a ticket and this is how we're dressed. <laughs> There she is, the Viking, <laughs> the Viking queen. Like he was, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Can anybody tell me the official colour of Ireland? It's blue, actually, Gaelic blue, the same blue as the Scottish flag. And our ancient flag was a blue flag with the golden half of one. Our modern flag. Emergency exits anywhere you like okay? <laughs> if you're wearing a seat belt take it off um life jackets are on <laughs> go put your hat on <laughs> thumbnail <laughs> all right <laughs> let me get a photo here we go <laughs> don't worry it's only 22 meters deep 
ships from all over the world used to come through those lock gates and dump their cargo here, which would then be picked up by barges before the railway was built and using the canal system delivered all over the country. This is where all the, the uh, Broadway, West End musicals come, opera, ballet. It's wonderful. And it was a beautiful ship, then it was used in a movie called Michael Collins, and the scene lasted 40 seconds. Fantastic, and a round of applause for Derwin. Thank you, Derwin. It's his first day, and he was wonderful. Yeah. Hi, guys. So the boat tour was good. Um, freezing, but really good. Very educational, very funny. Um, yeah, we'd recommend. Wouldn't do it again now I've done it. No. We didn't need to do it more than once. We're just in a little cocktail bar. I've ordered a daiquiri that's apparently going to come sweet. So we'll wait and see what happens. Yeah, we're just gonna probably keep drinking along the street and head for dinner shortly. But yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I enjoyed that. that. Espresso martini. Yeah. Guys, we have come to Salamanca, which is a tapas bar and restaurant. Lovely in here. Right, what's your name? So first up, we've got some green olives and a strawberry daiquiri, which is cool to the brim and huge. Very nice. <laughs> Cheers everyone, just waiting for Lada, Lada's Long Island iced tea. Right, our food is arrived. We've got chorizo, there the all is from earlier. <laughs> We've got potatoes, croquettes, I think that's prawns, chicken wings and calamari. How was your dinner? Seven. Good dinner. Eight. Why are we scoring it at seven? Nine. <laughs> what right. would you say? Eight point five. Okay. Well, I don't know. Like, I, 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 it's hard. Like, that's very high, no? Yeah. I would go nine because then you get the bread. Oh yeah, the bread. The bread would have been nice to dip. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd say eight. I would say nine. For tapas, it was really good. I'll give it a turn actually. <laughs> <laughs> no. So we're staying at the Temple Bar Hotel um, and this is our room. It's absolutely, it's massive. Oh, there's a Tesco there. Well, that's where we are, like. <laughs> How stunning is this? We've got a double bed, a single bed. It looks like Laura's having the single. <laughs> and then this is our bathroom, which is really nice. See right into the hotel across the way. And we have got wardrobe space. This is the room. Chuffed to bits with this. Oh, these, yeah, I think this is it. <laughs> Audrey's our break on this. <laughs> right, guys, we're in the room. Makeup's off, teeth brushed. We're sorted for bed. Um, so we're just sitting here eating chocolate, watching Love Island on the telly. So we'll catch you first thing in the morning for a hot coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Rise and shine, it's morning time. Hey guys, welcome back to day two in Dublin. So right now, we are gonna head out and we're gonna get some coffee and head to the Hop On Hop Don't Off bus tour. Yeah, it's gonna be a hot coffee. You can come and spend day two with us. It's looking like a lovely day in Dublin already. Currently on O'Connell Bridge and that over there is Halfpenny. And it's a beautiful morning. And we're just heading into that Starbucks now for some breakfast and coffee. So we ended up in Cafe Nero and we've got iced coffees, a flat white and some cheese and ham toasties. This is our view. I'm just going to sit with my feet up here and enjoy. I went iced coffee instead of hot but these things happen. And cheers. I've got very good coffee. Right, we've come into Carol's, which is like an Irish gift shop. How cute is all this stuff? So there's like key rings and like lighters. 
and then there's all these mugs. Look at that. You eat it and you got shit. I love that. That's so cute. And then there's like Bailey stuff and fudge and shortbread down there. So cute in here. I'm actually obsessed with the shop because like everything's green. It's so cool. I love it. The best big silver thing here. <laughs> Not the crutch. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? The It's called the stiletto in the ghetto. It's actually spiral. 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 Yeah. And also known as the stiletto in the ghetto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Arnett's, which is like a Selfridges, and it's so pretty. It's got every brand. Live your life within the moment, moment, and don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this night away. just hopped on the hop on hop off bus that we're using the big bus tours that's the company we've decided to go with we've jumped on at stop number one o'connell street this is so fun uh, for some weird reason the roof isn't down but the windows aren't in yeah but there's <laughs> there's no windows but the roof's on This is George Street Arcade, like a little market with little stalls. How beautiful is this street? All these little pubs and stuff down here. I think we're gonna go for a drink in one of them before heading to the Pink Cafe. Looks so nice. Right, we've just come into what the one of the pubs, like at the bottom of that street where I just showed you. Just having a desperado. Laura's on the Corona. Yeah. Look how cute this little pub is. It's so nice. And Emma's just chilling. Right, we're in the pink cafe. How cute is all this? It's so nice. It smells amazing in here as well. It's like smells like garlic, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, I love this. Garlic. The menu looks so good, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah Right, this is the menu. It's a great menu. Right, so we've just got our porn star martinis, but pink star martinis. Oh, it's like pink prosecco. Yeah, with a little pink uh, rose prosecco. How pretty in here. The cocktails are so nice. So we have got buttermilk chicken tenders with pink mayo. We've got a prawn cocktail. We've got goat cheese salad. We've got parmesan fries, and we have chili and salt roast potatoes. Ooh. Right, guys, the food here, incredible. Do you like it, girls? Yeah, it was so good. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Oh. I know, 9.5. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back that was again. coming. <laughs> 9.5 out of 10. What do you think, Emma? Yeah, that was definitely a... Maybe we a 9 because the chicken tenders were expensive. Overpriced. We got, I think it's 16 euros for two of those chicken tenders. Yeah. So Cocktails. 10 out of 10. 10 oh, 12 for me. So but good. overall, it's like, but it's out of 10, so. Overall, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's really good. We were saying actually, like, the places that look this nice aren't actually that good. And this has been unreal. Very nice. And we'd highly recommend a trip here. There, so. Laura bought this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick for how many euros? I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, 34 euros. Yeah. In shade, it's going all Jan. In shade, right, it's so it's going Jan. But you can refill it. You can refill it for 24 euros. That's cool. 
Well, you best believe that lipstick has been out <laughs> 10 times since we bought it and Charlotte told her earlier. That's full of lips. <laughs> <laughs> Right guys, that pink cafe was amazing, totally recommend, but now we've arrived at the Guinness factory. So I think, what were we, like 35 euros? I think it was. I think for a ticket and then we get a free Guinness at the end with our faces on it. <laughs> Can't wait to see that. We're steaming. And um, yeah, heading into Guinness factory, a bit worse for wear, on crutches. <laughs> Can't wait. And apparently there's been stairs, so I'm really excited for that. In a wheelchair. Apparently there's loads of walking at the Guinness factory, but plenty of lifts if required. But the girl said there's loads of walking on the floors, so I'm best off in a wheelchair. So just got one from the information desk, which is super helpful, but completely mortifying at the same time. <laughs> this is where the tour starts. I will never smile for you, smile for you, smile for you, smile for you. I can take this anymore. You say we're done, but you still want more. Baby, what I need is you out the door. This time I'm sure. Yeah. That you're a bad boy up to no good. Trying to be a man, but you're stuck in boyhood. Baby, you will never treat me the way you should. So I'm over for good. I will never smile. So we've got 52 seconds until the tasting experience begins to get into the tasting rooms. Due to the roast of barley, those roasty aromas. Now when we're actually drinking a pint of Guinness, we never ever sip a Guinness. It's always a big generous mouthful <laughs> underneath that white foam. Because that white foam is just pure nitrogen, it's very bitter. You want to get to that nice black stuff underneath. Now everyone, one last and final thing. Can anybody tell me the Irish word for cheers? Slancha. So I want three, but I'll do a big cheesy slancha and then we'll all drink our Guinness at the same time. So I want three, two, one. Slancha! <laughs> now, you could be getting a very subtle sweetness at the tip of your tongue, it is quite hard to pick up on, but it's mostly the roasted barley on the side of your tongue, the dark chocolate with the coffee, and then of course with the first dry better finish on the hops yeah. at the back of your tongue. Now, can anybody at all pick up any of those flavours? <laughs> Yeah, we'll just nod our heads. Like Very it. good, yeah. <laughs> like is it anybody's first time trying Guinness in here? Anybody at all? You, you, how do you, is it good? Do you like it? Good. Aww. 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 Good. You made your bed, now lie in it, baby. Rest your head. We're just getting photos for um, our pints of Guinness with our faces on them, which is really cool. I'll just show you that just now. The Guinness Factory was ace. Did you guys like it? Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So cool. That was really Guinness. I definitely recommend a trip if you're ever in Dublin. It was so good. Um, yeah, really liked that. And it wasn't boring or anything. Yeah. There's loads to see and do and drink Guinness and little tasters. Uh, great for disabled access. But you, I could not have done that on crutches. There's no way. So much walking and stairs. Guinness was lovely. We're just heading off to the Elephant Cafe. I want to say about the hop on hop off bus tour and the Viking Splash tour, you only need to do one, you don't need to do both. <laughs> but I would probably recommend the Viking one because it's more interactive and a bit of acting. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, just thought I'd quickly say that. We are just heading into the Elephant and Castle for dinner. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
seafood taco salad. Um, we have got salmon, veg, and mashed and sauce. It smells incredible. Dinner was absolutely lovely. So this is the elephant and castle. Again, highly recommend. I would say 10 out of 10. Those chicken wings were amazing. And the salmon was ace. Tagli Telly, I probably would not again. Right, I'm gonna get this right this time. Right, rate it. 7.5. Okay. I think the Tagli Telly was about. No, 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 I would say the chicken wings were 10 out of 10. Yeah, and the Tagli Telly was 7.5. 7. 7. 5. But the it was salmon, good, but it was just 10 out of 10. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we're just gonna head down into one of the bars, hopefully, hopefully for some live music. back in the room it's um it's quarter past 11 at night we've been out for 14 hours 14 hours 14 hours it's only 40 like we're not geriatrics 48 minutes till laura's birthday ooh, ooh. she's phoning the hotel from her mobile because the room hotel phone isn't doesn't working work and she wants a corona oh that she's gonna answer is she, yeah, that'll be the next thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? My phone at the room isn't working. I'm just wondering, is it possible to get a bottle of Corona to the, to the room? Nine o'clock in the morning. Good night. Fuck. Ordering service till 9 a.m. Damn it. Good morning guys, we're in the airport, um, this morning we just got up and went to Starbucks which was really nice. Just so you know, our taxi from the airport into Dublin was 23 euros and coming back out to the airport this morning we were 35 euros, just so you know, and it takes about 20-25 minutes, uh, it was fine. Um, if you're leaving Dublin you must leave so much time, we queued for like half an hour maybe longer at check-in and we got skipped right to the front of the queue in the end this poor lady was like you go first um, and then and then security took so long so just a bit of advice but i can't thank emma enough for taking so many videos and laura being our little tour guide and i didn't video much when we were out and about because i was obviously on crutches which emma did for me we are just heading home now and if you made it to the end of the vlog then thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video bye